babies explore and learn about their worlds by touching, crawling, grabbing, smelling, and tasting. From six months on, healthy children have the ability to move toward things that capture their interest. This allows them exponentially more opportunities to learn from their environments and form important neurological connections for brain and behavioral development. The picture, however, is quite different for the more than half a million children suffering mobility problems from diseases like cerebral palsy and spina bifida. The lost cognitive and socialization potential for these babies is difficult to quantify, but is obviously significant. University of Delaware physical therapy professor Cole Galloway says, if these infants were adults, therapists would have assistive technology options such as power wheelchairs. Currently, children with significant mobility impairments are not offered power mobility until they are five to six years of age or older. This delay in mobility is particularly disturbing when you consider the rapid brain development during infancy. Babies actions, feelings, and thinking all shape their own brain's development. They literally build their own brains through their exploration and learning in the complex world. Dr. Galloway and mechanical engineering professor Sunil Agrawal have teamed up to build the first powered wheelchair designed for children aged six months to three years, a critical period for cognitive and social development for children. A multidisciplinary team of scientists, physical therapists, and engineers helped Galloway and Agrawal design their prototype, which incorporates sensors to guard against collisions. These sensors also help analyze patterns of interactive behavior and aid in the study of social development. Behavioral and developmental psychologists are characterizing what seem to be significant developmental benefits for children with disabilities who have access to the robotic device, generating hopes that it might be helpful for a variety of conditions, including autism, spina bifida, and muscular dystrophy, as well as Down syndrome and cerebral palsy. By improving the functional potential of children with disabilities, this technology provides families with hope that their children may lead more independent and productive lives. Dr. Galloway receives frequent calls from desperate parents who have learned about his device. Right now, he regrets that he has to tell them that it is not yet available commercially. With continued collaboration within the university and throughout the Delaware Health Sciences Alliance, this promising new therapy may one day become widely available to treat children with a variety of mobility disorders.